Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. Third ODI again to be played at Palakele. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through this preview and give you lots of interesting insights. Yes, you can hear the energy in his voice because he's been making some good, good money recently. Uh, it can be as recent as the last few minutes, but yes, uh, that's a bit about all of these uh, journeys that we try to give you good enough content so you can use your teams, kare, rotations, kare, uh, rules change, nahi ho rahe, form se masti hum nahi karenge. hopefully we can have a good run once again. Yes, absolutely. And before we get to base team venue conditions, ensure you hit the like button and tell me your man of the match in the comment section. Because you will get like, you will get comment, we will get a lot of love. So go for it. And now first up, let's look at venue conditions. So the game is going to be played at Palkele, like we mentioned. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But we have seen that there has been some movement up front, especially under light. So that can be one interesting point for you to watch out for. Second thing is, this is going to be the third game that is mostly again going to be played on the same pitch, which means that the use pitch can come into play and both teams don't have any dearth of resources as far as spin is concerned. So Nikhil Bhai, how do you see this going? Do you see, feel like it's going to be a good pitch to bat on or will spin actually play a role? Again, uh, this is 2022. Uh, if cricket results did not surprise you, I'm sure the football ones already have. So it's not going to be easy to read into uh, pitch reports. But if a huge surface, and as you see, both teams' strength, they are always going to rely on spin mode. So, but we still haven't seen that Rashid Khan special yet. I don't know if this is the game. But one into again, you say, "Sab ka ab dekho, thikshana ka you say, hmm. Jeev ka you say." It's been very haphazard and not like. Abhi ye, you could not tell that this is bowling. Karega. So that is something that has been very skeptical for me. Maybe they are trying something which only they can tell. But uh, I'll still back their spinners, hmm. uh, Rashid Mujib from Afghanistan and two from Sri Lanka. Because they will be in the game. Chance create ho now drop catches be kafi ho hai. So <laughs> the less right. said about that, the better. Let's not speak. See, he's gone mute. Itna, itne zyada drop catches ho gaye ki humko aawaz hi nahi aati evidently. <laughs> right. So let's move. Uh, can you hear me now, Nikhil Bhai? Yes, very clear. Yes, very clear. Right. So it was the drop catches only then. So let's yeah. move straight to the base team. So let's look at the base team that we have set up for this game. In the keeping section, we have gone with Rehmanullah Gurbaz, and then three batters: Rehmat Shah, Patum Nisanka. And Ibrahim Zadran, two things for you to keep in mind. Why we have not taken Kusal Mendes? Because there's been movement up front. So maybe if he's chasing again, maybe he's a worthy drop. And that angle of Fazal Haq has never been easy for him, whether you see the Asia Cup games or whether you see the recent games. So that will be a threat for him. Another thing for you to keep in mind is Nisanka was struggling with some injury right before they went off for in. So he might or might not play this one. Bilkul, there are two distinct scenarios here. Uh, batting first up, they can't do swing. Hmm. Uh, again, I could be wrong, but he made an observation that Zada movement, thi, but under lights, it was doing a bit more, just a bit more. So maybe that is also a way for you to look out that if you think that a Kusal can play batting first, so please go ahead and take him. And uh, yes, the rest of us are back, informed players who are likely to contribute, and I think we will stick with them unless somebody is not playing. Yes, absolutely. So that's the batters and the keeper. Then when you look at the all-rounders, we have gone with Mohammad Nabi who did find some form in the last game. And if the pitch is actually a used one, then he might yeah. come in well with the ball too. And he plays spin well too. So he can bat well at the death even if it's turning. And the other two all-rounders, Hasaranga, who has to be your captain, and Dhananja De Silva, who bowled 9-10 overs in the last game, even though conditions didn't really help spin that much. So you can only expect more come this game. Bilkul or uh, just Actually, to you add, Sorry, you can't expect more. It's not a test match. Sorry. <laughs> Correct. Also, uh, Shanaka ke bhi captain has sung hai. So I think it's not wise to drop uh, one into at times. But uh, yes, jokes apart. I think Nabi is a very differential pick. Agar aap kahe to, it's just, just the state of time. Uh, he hasn't had enough scores. Or wickets bhi nahi le ho. But agar used wicket hai na, I just feel Nabi has enough experience in him to get something out of the deck. So again, conditions are going to be very, very important. And because rain is not a dry surface, hai, he 
Mujit and Rashid could really wreak havoc. Yes, absolutely. And then when you look at the bowlers, we have gone with Rajita, who's been very impressive with change-ups, yeah. movement up front. So he's going to give you both facets. Tikshana, who found some wickets in the last game. And Rashid Khan, I don't have to speak about that one. And Fazal Ak like we mentioned, up front will be very, very critical. Absolutely. And here are options that you have. Uh, you could go with Lahiru Komana, who's been very inconsistent. If you see, almost like there is a wicket-taking ball, but there are a few boundary balls as well. So uh, again, he would be a very, uh, you would say, fun pick to try. And uh, same is the case with Ahmed Zai, who's also bowled well, but has also not been consistent enough. So again, those are the two options for you to try. Majoritively, sorry, the team same only. Captain, as captain, be the same. So this game, aapka Jai Matadi game hi hai in terms of the grinding options that you try. Right. And one observation that I have with bowlers like Lahiru Kumara and with bowlers like Yamin Ahmed Zai, they have a lot of pace, but maybe line and length is not present. But yeah. when you're chasing and then and when you're chasing even a half decent score and the pace rattles you, then at that point they can take wickets under the under that pressure pressure situation. So yes, maybe yeah. when they're chasing, maybe that's the actual when they're at a bowling second would be the time for you to look out for such bowlers. Possible, possible. Right, and now let's look at Grand League options for this game. So, before Nikhil Bhai steals my Grand League picks for this game, <laughs> I'll start with the Grand League picks for this one. So, I, you, I already revealed two to you, Yamin Ahmed Zai or Kumara. Whoever bowls second will be one of my Grand League picks. And uh, keeping it simple, my other Grand League pick will be Charit Asalanka. The kind of talent he is, I think he's not matched up to <laughs> the number of runs that he scored. And the facial exp- facial expressions should tell you who his Grand League pick to was. Yeah, the, that's that's one pick gone uh, right there. Uh, I'm going to go with, for Afghanistan, I'm going to go with Chahil. Uh, I think he's somebody who's very, uh, I feel he's very class uh, batter. Uh, so far, Ibrahim Brahimat have done the job for them up top and uh, Gurubaz has been very surprisingly consistent to unki zarurat nahi padi hai but i feel shahid could really play a very good role uh, come the third ODI or he mujhe lagta hai he's the guy kind of guy who can get in and give you a bank of score so again if you feel that he'll come good batting first you can definitely go there uh, sri lanka ki jo meri pick thi wo to sab ne le li so now i'm <clears throat> scrambling my thoughts to understand okay who could be the uh, potential differential there so I'm going to go with Dasim Chanaka because he's also bowling and uh, his average in chases here is like around 100 I think. So again, not sure if he'll always get that chance but Grand League option is great. Right, absolutely. And I also want to hear what your Grand League pick for this game is. Yep. So ensure that you tell us in the comment section and hit the like button before you leave. Thank you so much yes. for tuning in and have a great game day, lots of games. So enjoy that set and we'll see you tomorrow for the next set of previews. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in. Good game. Have a good game.